hello guys welcome back to my channel so in previous lessons we have learned how we can make a route how we can install laravel so today we are going to learn how we can pass variable from uh, from here to here to our route and then to our function and back uh, to here so let's start to do that we have to write here slash and our variable name inside these brackets so this will be my first variable and this one will be my second so in here I will write a B and or uh, let's say just a in here B so I we have to also pass this to to our function in uh, to our function parameter so in here I will write a and dollar B so in here if i say a plus doesn't b return a plus dot b and come in here and write three five and hit enter you get eight and if i change it to five and my second parameter uh, will be two and hit enter so we got seven now uh, we have learned up to now so uh, let's continue and return a view so uh, let's return i will create a new view file to do that i am going to resources views in here you can find your view file so in here i am going to create a new file and name it uh, for now i will say just dummy dot blade.php remember guys that each view that you create in laravel it has it must have dot blade and dot php uh, bl blade is a template templating engine we will learn more about it so for now just remember if you want to create any view file in laravel you have to write dot blade dot php so it's ready now let's uh, open it and in here i'm just for testing purposes i'm going to write and in the body of html and inside it i'm going to write just write inside each one tag hello world and in route.php I will say return view and my view name which is dummy so let's save this and go back to our browser refresh the page so you guys see we got our hello world from our dummy view so let's now import our these two parameters to our view file so let's see how we can do that to do that we just have to uh, write here inside return view we have to write comma compact like this compact and our variable names like this so uh, guys you guys can see here i wrote dollar sign a and dollar sign b but in here i wrote them just like a string so it's very important to note that in here you write it as dollar sign a and dollar sign b and in inside compact you will write it as a string so uh, let's go to our dummy blade and in here let's open let's uh, print our parameters so for to do that i will open another h1 tag and i will inside this double curl, uh, brackets i will write dollar sign a which is our first parameter plus dollar sign b so now let's save and go to our browser refresh the page now we got seven same if we change it 
for example I will make it 5 and this one 10 hit enter and we got the result so this is a the way we pass a parameter to our view using route so slash uh, your first parameter then slash your second parameter then in, in the function and after that you will write compact to send it in the view and in the view you will get it like this so this is the end of this video and at the end of each lesson i will try to bring you guys a new challenge so you guys can learn more about laravel so today's challenge is to return this dummy view from the web uh, from the route without any parameters so i will remove this remove this one also and this one also and this one also so uh, try to return this uh, dummy dot blade file from here without using this code and finding an another way to return this dummy file if you found the solution please write it down in the comments and if you didn't found it i will tell you in the next video so don't forget to press the subscribe button and see you guys in the next video